If you're wondering why I've been sitting down for the last two videos, it's because my tripod is broken and the frame that was in the backdrop of my videos is also broken. Hashtag YouTuber goals. Hi guys, it's Beverly D. It's that special time of the year again when you get to celebrate your beautiful relationship with the love of your life, your entire world, your everything, your you. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Valentine's Day, but no offense to anyone celebrating, you do you and them. <clears throat> now I'm single, okay? I don't know what people do on Valentine's Day. I don't know about any of this stuff. I'm clueless. Seriously, like yesterday I was googling what does a relationship mean? Just kidding, I wasn't. But I think I actually should because I have no idea. Now if you're like me, Valentine's Day is completely confusing, pointless and low-key annoying if you're single. But don't worry, I've got you. Here are 5 ways to get through Valentine's Day. Or in other words, the Valentine's Day survival guide. Step number 1. Boycott social media. I know, I know you're addicted to social media, you love it, you can't live without it, neither can I. But answer these questions truthfully. Do you like being sane? Do you enjoy not having a gag reflex every time you see a cheesy romantic caption? Then do yourself a favor and stay away from social media, especially Facebook and Instagram because that is the number one place that couples hog during Valentine's Day. Again, no disrespect to anyone celebrating Valentine's Day, it's just that I want to stay away from you. Like I don't want to be reminded of the fact that I'm a loner, you know what I mean? Step number two, remind yourself that it only lasts for 24 hours or 18 if you subtract the number of hours that you sleep. To be honest, just sleep for a solid 12 hours and cut that number into half and you're sorted. Step number three, have fake celebrations with people that are out of reach so that you already know it's pointless and you don't set yourself up for disappointment. AKA celebrities. Dedicate tweets to them, Facebook posts, Instagram captions. Find someone who's great at Photoshop and edit a picture of you and Ryan Gosling if you have to. Because sometimes it's okay to lie if you want to feel less pathetic and sad. Yeah, I read it in a book somewhere, like don't quote me on it. Step number four, have alternative Valentines. Okay, hello, one minute. Who said that Valentines need to be humans? I mean, come on, it's 2017, anything works. There's absolutely nothing wrong with spending the day with the things that you love, okay? They're not people, you won't expect things from them. They will never disappoint you. Spend the day listening to your favorite music, go shopping, spend the day eating your favorite food. I mean, if you're like me, you anyway make out with your food half the time, okay? What? Don't judge me. Don't act like you don't make questionable noises every time you take a bite of cheesecake or french fries. Y'all were meant to be together, don't you see it? Go celebrate that. Anything to fill the void. And this brings me to step number five, which is make a fun plan for yourself. Emphasis on yourself. Singles don't need to have a gag reflex every time they see couples together, okay? We don't have to escape Valentine's Day because we're not in a relationship. We can enjoy Valentine's Day in spite of not being in one. On a more serious note, this is important for every day of your life to be honest. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I love spending time alone. Not all the time, but sometimes. I recently went way out of my comfort zone to go and watch a movie. In the theater. In public. And it was amazing and so much fun. So what if you don't have a date this Valentine's Day? There are so many other things that you could do to have a fun and positive day. I mean, I'm sure there's at least one friend of yours who's single that you can hang out with. And remember, food. There will always be food. So yeah, guys, those were my five ways to get through Valentine's Day. And in all honesty, like jokes aside, Valentine's Day doesn't have to be something you have to get through. Just laugh about being single and just take it in a positive light and it'll all be okay. But yeah, this video was a lot of fun to make. I like coming up with these points, like guides to deal with certain things. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to make more like these. Like I recently made one about being awkward at parties. So uh, put some situations down below that you think you need a guide for and I'll happily make a video for it. And yep guys, if you like this video, you know what you have to do. Subscribe, comment, share and like it. And always remember, Dream big, be kind, stay positive, and most importantly, be yourself. That's it for me now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.